Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. This morning, I'm gonna explain what I believe is the answer to the mystery blob in the woods. But first, I gotta try to take this dog for a walk all the way to the end and I'm looking for my cat Maisie. Maisie's been missing now. This is one, two, four days. My sister was here with her dogs and sometimes the cats, well, pretty much every time, at least one of them disappears for a couple days. Maisie is usually all right, but I don't like it going this long. But the thing about her is she's had this bizarre fear of the road here. Usually she stops at the beginning of the road and she will not come down here. And if she does come down, every time I throw the stick, she'll pick it up and then stare down the road for a while before she brings it and drops it. I don't know what she's afraid of. It might be, well, it all started when duck hunting gun season started and we would get to the end of the road and somebody at the bottom of the hill was practicing uh target practicing quite a bit and i think that scared her but we have guns going all the time around here so you wouldn't think that would scare her and she was also afraid one time she came down here Somebody started a chainsaw off that way, and that scared the hell out of her, and she ran all the way home. So this is doing pretty good for her. She came down here all on her own. We went out of the house, and she started going this way, so I followed her. So I'm going to take her to the end, and then I'll show you what I believe that mystery blob was. The dog heard the roar of the wind in the trees and that scared her and she's running home. She is not a brave dog by any means. Alright, let's go explore that blob in the woods. Okay, it took me a while to find this because it was covered up with leaves but i just wanted to show you that the chipmunks and or moles in the area tunnel right through the gravel sometimes you'll see like a mole has tunneled right under the surface and lifted up the gravel all the way across the road this is a, a fairly deep tunnel and this has been here for a couple of years now and then it'll have side holes all along the edges there. And I don't know what kind of rooms and stuff they have in here, but I believe that's the answer to the blob in the woods up here. So let's go look at this blob in the woods and see if I'm correct. The fall color right in this area is not that great. I really love the color of the oaks, but most of the trees right in this little area right here have yellow leaves. And generally the ones with yellow leaves, the leaves drop really quick. So most of the leaves have actually dropped in this area already. This red oak right here is pretty cool though. I prefer the whites though. All right, the blob is right up here. And there's the dog. She's only semi-brave today, but braver than other days. All right, I believe the blob is by the second tree. That's the first one. And the second one is right there. About one throw away. I initially found this blob 
when I was doing something, oh, checking on the trees, and then I was walking back up to the road. So it's right along here somewhere. Oh, if it disappeared, I will be pissed. And if it's what I think it is, it certainly can disappear. I'm going to look for it, and then I'll get back with you. All right, here it is. It's kind of buried now. It was much more dramatic when I found it, but it's still kind of dramatic. This is a big blob of stuff. It goes all the way down to here. Oh, so it's probably four feet long. So what I believe this is, and I'm pretty sure I'm correct, there's got to be like a chipmunk hole or something right around here somewhere. So what I believe this is, I believe there's a chipmunk hole right at the end of this, right at, or right at the beginning of this. I would have to scrape a bunch of this off to see if I could find the hole, but I don't really want to do that. What this looks like is the fine gravel from the road that washed in and filled up a, like a chipmunk room or something under the road. Then we had some really big rains and I think what it did was just washed it out a lower hole. So if you take yourself, this is kind of nasty, it's slippery, so you know, I just, I think this is, it feels gritty, but I don't know if it's gritty enough to be what I think it is. You know, the fines from the road. I came here one time and took a blob of this on my fingers and it felt a little bit gritty like it was road stuff, but this feels like snot. It definitely doesn't feel like like it's grit from the road. Uh, well, I guess maybe I don't know what the hell this is. It's certainly bizarre, and it's thick. This is probably, well, two inches thick right here. I just smelled it to see if it smelled like gravel and I don't know it really doesn't smell like gravel either ah, I guess I didn't figure out what the blob is I guess I still think that it's the fines from the road the road gravel because we've had stuff that looks kind of like this in the bottom of the ditches it washes out from like the edge of where the gravel is and will wash down into a ditch. But this is quite the big blob and it's real thick and it's all in one spot. So it would have had to have come out of like a tunnel or something. Yeah, it does smell like gravel. I'm going to say that's what it is. It's road gravel, the real fine stuff from the road gravel that washed down into like a room from an animal underneath the road and then something caused it, maybe erosion or something caused one of the tunnels to collapse and the whole mess just washed down and washed out. That's what I'm going with, but if anybody has any other idea what this could be put it down in the comments because this is some weird stuff I mean this is a big blob if you look back at the original video for this this is a good sized blob and it just appearing out of nowhere is kind of freaky but I believe I've solved it again let me know if you have a different opinion on that Oh, the dog disappeared. She had enough waiting. I'm going to have to go find her, and i got to go find my cat. So make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon, and have yourself a great day.